One final question, Dr. Balla, and we're talking at a time when the Federal Open Market Committee is meeting to decide on the future of the bond buying program. Uh, what are you anticipating and what would that mean for capital flows into emerging markets? You know, I, I'm of the view, and maybe I'm a small minority, that this is, um, if you will, one of the most hyped subjects. Uh, it's very good for TRPs, it's very good for <laughs> articles, but really... Uh, it won't be uh, it won't be of much concern to the markets. Uh, hasn't been of much concern to the markets. To think that that is what drove, uh, you know, if you will, the U.S. economy, and if you take any economy outside of India, they have expanded. So I think the interest rates that a lot of people talk about, uh, long-term interest rates in the U.S. that have gone up from about 1.8 to 2.8 by about 100 basis points have basically done because the U.S. recovery seems solid. Mm. Um, and I think, uh, you know, therefore, interest rates should rise a little bit, and they have risen, mm. uh, if you will, enough to accommodate the increase in the growth rate. So I, I'm of the cap that I think once the, I think they, they, they should begin tapering. I think they will begin tapering. Uh, and I think, uh, you know, the markets uh, should see a relief rally and that it's done news. I mean, this news came out in April, May, and the fact that in September we're still talking about how it will affect the markets means one of two things. Mm. Either we all think the markets are terribly stupid <laughs> and everybody in there is terribly stupid, or that, you know, whatever had to happen has happened.